I'm one of those people that think up crazy stuff and go out and tinker and build it. A cyclist at heart, Colin McDuff turns bike parts into all different kinds of works of art. But when an explosives accident took one of his fingers, he redirected his energy to replace what he'd lost. Here's the original prototype. Mm -hmm. And I cut up some handlebars. Though it worked, mimicking the natural biomechanics of the finger, Colin searched for a better lightweight material, choosing an indestructible plastic. The design and development of these biomechanical fingers has come a long way in a short period of time. Colin at first tried using castings of people's hands. That didn't work. Now he's using ring sizers that he sends them in the mail. After sizing, a patient gets new fingers in three months or less. And Collins now got a U.S. patent on his design, which he says is far superior to anything else out there. A lot of companies are what I call the Barbie doll silicone fingers. Uh, they look good, but they don't really function. Function is what Colin needed, and he's not the only one. Michael, a music and piano teacher for 28 years, could no longer play well after he lost two fingers in an accident. He's now tickling the ivories again with his new biomechanical fingers. And Colin's now developing a camouflage skin to cover these fingers. I'm the amputee and I'm the designer and I'm always going to be tweaking this thing.